My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well, well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice! Damn it, I should've started with his boxers. Fuck! <laughs> it's a present! J just for you! Do you know what this is? It's uh, no one looks like a brain. It's like domed correctly for it to be his brain, but it's spaghetti. I, I, I'm feeling. I got my fingers crossed. You know, my plot senses say spaghetti. <laughs> Come on, spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't a plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti! F finely aged in oak and cast! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human! It is time to end this! There's no way this can go any further! <laughs> you take a small bite, your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Urgh! No! Right for the mouth. Boom! All over the face. Just... Oh, my dating power! Splort. Spladow. Oh, you loved it. My dating power? Mmm. You... My dating power? It's not so much... You know, something that one can describe with numerics. No, no, no. It's an experience. An experience you're going to be talking about for the rest of your life. Future dating ruined. You experience this and oh. Oh, nothing else really compares anymore. It's like trying to have sex after you've had ecstasy. Just because, you know... You've had the pinnacle, the peak of pleasure, and then you try and go back to, you know, normie, vanilla experiences, and you're just burned out. There's no way to really have pleasure after my dating power is all over your face. Splugadoo. Move right along. Thank you to the patrons. Like and subscribe. Listen up, you beautiful bastards. I'm Insipid, and this is Undertale. Undertale. Um, want to send out a big thank you to TechBro for donating the game. Thank you very much, TechBro. Um, and we are getting into this. We just finished getting past uh, Papyrus. We're going to talk to Sands really quick right here. We're going to go back, have our little date. Oh, it's going to be nice. Uh, and then we're gonna progress on from there. I'm not sure where or what that's gonna look like, but we will. We're gonna do that thing and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Ta-da! Good! So, let's have a little chitty chat, shall we? I believe we shall. Bloop. Having to see a guy with two jobs before. Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm gonna grill these. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Oh, that's perfect! Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans! Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans! Hi, Sansy. Oh, sorry. Hi, Sansy! <laughs> Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Uh, <laughs> whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdo put whoopee cushions on seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Okay, so here's like a, a major conundrum from my face. Love me some fries. Love me some fries. Oh, God. And then just like ranch plus ketchup. I, I'm kind of a sauce slut, 
as it were. The more sauce, the better. I'm such a saucy fellow, because you are what you eat. That said, otherwise, burgers can be absolutely delicious. Maybe I get a bit of avocado on there. Mwah! Lovely. Um, in this case, going burger, because I... I'm a, I'm a wee little tyke. I just beat up a big, tall fucking skeleton. Not beat up. I survived a big, tall fucking skeleton. And it's not a skeleton of fucking. It's a skeleton that I refer to as a fucker because it's obnoxious. But I'm the fucker, so never mind. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grill me. We'll get a double order of the Berg. He's dressed nice. I like that. So, uh, what do you think of my brother? He's ill-adjusted, but is that uncool? He's dedicated, he's ambitious, he means well. If, if the word cool is to refer to a person who is popular, who has um, control, control, control over, you know, like, their social conduct in a fashion that allows them to express themselves confidently, I would say that's cool. Um, otherwise, you know, he's just a good fucking guy. Which is really fucking cool. So, I'm gonna go with cool. He's a good guy. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he was absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. But on jow! Okay, good. You dip, you tip the ketchup, the cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours on your food. Whoops. <laughs> Forget about it. You're gonna have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Because you're not actually made out of meat. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries really hard. Which is what I'm saying, right? He, he's really, he, he's sincere. He is sincerely dedicated to, you know, pleasing those around him. That's cool. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Okay. All right. All right. So there's the other flower, but the echo flower. Yeah. So we're going with good. 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 <laughs> They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? It's almost using Echo Flower to play trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Thanks, boss. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let me go. I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Now, if, hypothetically, I'd like just ground up 10,000 G and was able to answer yes, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be cool. That'd be like, ha What? what about it? But no, I, I can't, so. Just kidding. Grilby, put it on my tab. <laughs> Grilby, just. <laughs> you don't even have it. You don't even have a tab. Get out. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Getting right over here, right? This is a. Uh... No, that wasn't the place. It was right over here. Good, good, good. Hey, I'm playing this perfectly. This is going exactly according to plan. Hey. 
Later. No. Hey. I'll kill you in your sleep. Later. Hey. No. Right. It's time for you to bone me. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> this is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Impress! I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Got it. Catch that middling canine! Curses! Sands! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! And that's the trash can! Feel free to visit at any time! Yeah, it's still the trash can. Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! So like, a pie. Pie. Is that, that what you're talking about? Pies? Pie's good. I'm all about pie. Tell me in the comments what, what kind of pies you like. Tell me your favorite pie. Need it. Need to know. Very important. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! You moved it! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! That is the sound of someone falling. Thank you. Oh, it's my favorite game show! It says stay tuned for a new program, MITT. What? It's usually better than this! This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! My line. Yep. Here's a book. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Fuck yes. Inside the joke book was a qu was a quantum physics book. You should look. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book inside. You decide to stop. Hey baby. Do 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 do. Ah, drooling over your bone. Anyway, a classic image. It always reminds me of what's the most important in life. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. Oh, sorry. Where is that? Do whatever people do when they date? Because there's a question mark. It's not an exclamation point. It's a question mark. So, see, one, one is an exclamation. Thus, the exclamation mark. The other one is a question mark, indicating that it is uh, an inquiry. Inquiries frequently end with a higher pitch. They're in the whole inquiry thing. Good. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You gotta, gotta let Sans know that I'm right here. Hey. The door is locked. Good. Thank God. Uh, so he needs to stay in here while we have our little day to do. You know, it's important. Uh huh. Good. Fuck yes. I love your rug. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. 
Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it was basically just happened. Dude, sick computer. You playing games on this? There are no skeletons inside my closet except me sometimes. Yes? Clothes are hung up neatly inside. You know, the neatness does not surprise me. Um, he seems like a very fastidious fellow. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I do, I, I'm just a dozen away from double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns and a goofy font. So, double digit, two, 12 away, so he's at negative two? Anyway, good. Um, there's also, you know, uh, the rate of follower and unfollowing that one could calculate, but I don't think that's what he means. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's one of my favorites. Peekaboo with a fluffy bunny. The ending always gets me. Doop, doop, doo. Isn't that a flag in Nito? Undine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. Action figures. My great reference to the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Holy shit. That's actually what I was kind of guessing, but then it was right. But first and foremost, the thing that's really getting me hot and bothered is your race car bed. Tell me more. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive a long, long highway, winding wind in my hair, not winding my hair, shut up, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. It's kind of hoping for a little bit more, um, intimacy. Damn it. Huh. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? <laughs> yes. Okay, dating start! What? What? On our date. We actually never done this before. But don't worry. I can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. Whoosh! I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your date keyboard for dating HUD. Hunt. I feel so informed. A dating sim. <laughs> cool. Just good. I think we're ready to step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, Skeletor, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wow. We. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care! Wait a second. Wearing clothing? That bandana around your head! You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that! Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning! Gonna rock your world. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Or, uh, dating? Yeah! Yeah! Don't think you've messed with me yet! Jesus. Look at that tension. 
the fluctuations. They're out of control! I, the great Skeletor, have never even deepened the dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Nya-ha! Do you think of my secret style? Loving it. No! A genuine compliment! I am filled with determination right now. I mean pleasure. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secrets. But that won't happen. My hat? My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well, well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. Damn it, I should have started with his boxers. Fuck! <laughs> it's a present! J just for you! Do you know what this is? It's... I know it looks like a brain. It's like domed correctly for it to be his brain. But it's spaghetti. I... I... I'm feeling... I got my fingers crossed. You know, my plot senses say spaghetti. <laughs> Come on. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But, oh, so wrong! This ain't a plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti. F finely aged and oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it is time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Urgh! No! Right for the mouth. Boom! All over the face. Just. Oh, my dating power! Splort. Spladow. Oh, you loved it. My dating power? Mmm. You, my dating power, it's not so much, you know, something that one can describe with numerics. No, no, no. It's an experience. An experience you're going to be talking about for the rest of your life. Future dating ruined. You experience this, and oh, oh, nothing else really compares anymore. It's like trying to have sex after you've had ecstasy, just because, you know, you've had the pinnacle, the peak of pleasure, and then you try and go back to, you know, normie, vanilla experiences, and you're just burned out. There's no way to really have pleasure after my dating power is all over your face. Sploogadoo. Move right along. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. He says shakily, human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh. That was well-timed, but that was someone donating. Thanks. Oh, shoot! Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I, I mean. Look at his face! Oh. Oh. Uh, it, he's like, he feels so bad. I mean, he, the great, great papyrus, 
he's he's amazing and he understands why someone would fall for him that hard and he has to break it to us that he just doesn't it's not it's not a compatibility it's not something that can happen <laughs> damn it damn it i was like oh that's so sweet it's a serious thing and then suddenly googly <laughs> He's, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that not because you fled with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. <laughs> then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I'd be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me! A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? I'm about to get fucking friend zoned by this skeleton. No! Wait! That's wrong! I can't feel at anything! Human! I'll help you through these intense times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this all this never happened! After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't... Don't cry. I won't kiss you. Because I don't have lips. Sorry. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you solve a second best. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't need to reach me. Here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. A wink, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Later. Pew. Uh, Sans, uh, I know, I know we were kind of loud in there, but I need you to go ahead and just keep us on the DL, okay? Nope. Whatever. It's fine. Good. Great. Wait. What? Are you sure? There we go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Moving right along. Oh man. Um. Yeah. That was. That was special. That was. That was a treat. Uh. Hey, Sans. Ka fucking saved. So. Real quick shout out to the patrons: Sean and Novaswap, Saladin, Marco Furry, and Xylon. Thank you all very much for making all this possible, both the streams and the videos. Otherwise, it's been real, it's been fun, and catch you guys on the flip side. Take care, everybody.